ano ba yung mga nangyayari, especially with the pandemic, uh, pandemic crisis around the world, so that we will be kept informed and at the same time, just like what I said before, we can deal with reality courageously. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Real Talk with Jamie Iris. And for today's episode, again, just like what I have mentioned to you, we'll try to take a look at the current situation uh, around the world and of course uh, in our country in the Philippines. Ano ba yung mga nangyayari, especially with the pandemic, uh, pandemic crisis around the world, so that we will be kept informed and at the same time, just like what I've said before, we can deal with reality courageously, right? So, to start with, I think uh, isa sa pinaka mabuti nating gawin to help us uh, be equipped in facing uh, the crisis that we are experiencing worldwide and at the same time in our country, kailangan maintindihan natin ano-ano ba yung mga terminologies na ginagamit uh, regarding this or related to this pandemic crisis because a lot of news, a lot of articles are coming out in the TV, in the internet, in vlogs, and they're using what we call words that are related to the COVID uh, virus or what we call this pandemic crisis. But the question is, are they really using it I mean, are people who began using it aside from those people who are in authority to give information about the COVID virus, are people really understanding the new terminologies or the jargons as we say about uh, this pandemic crisis uh, correctly? I mean, tama ba ang pagkakaintindi nila? Fully understood ba? Or minsan nakuha o nagrasp nila apart but then again uh, is there a possibility also na maaring hindi nila totally naintindihan ang meaning ng ilang mga terminologies na madalas ginagamit ng ating mga politicians, mga doctors, mga expert about the pandemic crisis. But for someone like us who are ordinary citizens and uh, what to call individuals, we must make sure that at least we understand this very well because what could possibly happen? Could it be possible that because a person or group of people did not really fully understand the new words or concepts that were used by the experts, Maari bang ma-misuse ito? Maari din bang ma-misunderstood ito? Na can brought about what? Negative emotions such as fear, anxiety, and not only that. Could it also uh, bring about uh, negative thinking about other people? Could possibly be na magkaroon ng discrimination, stereotyping, or even treat. And just like what I was saying, maari kaya uh, un misunderstanding or not fully grasping what we call the different concepts or terminologies na ngayon lang natin narinig o, ngayon, o hindi natin ginagamit sa araw-araw natin pananalita or we don't use it in our daily lingo or language or vocabulary. Uh, if it's not understood clearly o hindi siya naindintihan ng lubusan at ginamit natin to at sa tingin natin yun ang, ang, ang tamang interpretasyon ngunit mali pala ay naku baka maitrato natin ang ibang tao ng maling paraan so maari bang mag brought about to ng let us just stereotyping or worse is discrimination, right? We are uh, what is uh, what are these terminologies? We'll talk about that later, cause we are here now. That's our main topic for today. So for this episode, everyone, because the words are quite new and uh, thoughts and questions in my mind are just like what I've said to you. Do we really understand the full meaning of these words? Uh, if yes, that is great. If not, if it's possible, is it possible just like what I asked a while ago to actually misinterpret it? Uh, what information is being said about the pandemic? And will it brought about negative 
negative uh, feelings for the individual himself or herself or could it also brought about not only negative feelings uh, dun sa taong mismong mali ang pagkakaintindi but at the same time they might have negative thinking and emotions towards other people also like uh, it could be some COVID a patient survivors or it could also be like overseas workers right na naririnig natin ngayon with the news so we'll talk about that in a little while and I have a specific video also uh, about how, how other people who had COVID cases or recovered for co from COVID cases and at the same time, mga OFW natin, particularly mga seafarers, how were they uh, treated by other people who misunderstood the words that were used regarding this pandemic crisis so uh, we will talk about that in a separate video but for the meantime for everyone let us just relearn uh, sabay sabay po tayong uh, unawain alamin um, different terminologies that is linking to the pandemic crisis uh huh Number one purpose of uh, this uh, video is that we want to identify the new terminologies often or lagging in a gamut uh, about COVID-19 pandemic or the pandemic crisis. Uh, second one is we want to explain unfamiliar terminologies about COVID-19 so that at least, okay, if you will hear it, you understood what it means. And at the same time, so tingnan po natin if some of the terminologies I will feature, I will share to you, narinig nyo na, or maaring hindi pa. So hoping it will help you so that at least when you hear it being said, you will use and understood the context of the sentence correctly and accurately para walang masamang pag-iisip sa ibang tao or sa sitwasyon. Worse, Para rin sa inyo. Next one, last but not the least is the purpose of this video is to discuss COVID-19 related terminologies oh, that are often misinterpreted. So, yun yung aking finocus dito. So, ano ba yung usually COVID-related uh, terminologies na often uh, misinterpreted and misused? Nakitang-kita po natin sa mga news at sa mga internet, uh, what we call vlogs or videos na ang mga common pong mga uh, mamamayan na katulad ko, katulad natin, na hindi naman used or not uh, sanay sa gamitin itong uh, words na to, ay nagagamit natin ngayon pagkat ito ang ating naririnig, ating nakikita sa ating mga binabasa at pinapanood. Uh, so, let's get right on it. Let's just take a look. So, what are some of the terminologies? Tingnan po natin. Wow, ang dami, no? Basic pa lang po yan. <laughs> so, uh, later on, if there are some more words that uh, magagather ko that I think is very significant, we'll do part two. But for the meantime, let's do this. So, let's start with the basic terminologies. Okay, great. So, let's start with our first terminology that is related or the new vocabulary. We can call it also jargons or what we call COVID-19 jargons. <laughs> yeah, so kung baga specific uh, mga, let us just say work, industry, may mga kanya-kanya mga a specific group of words or tinatawag nating jargons I think ang COVID-19 pandemic meron din. So alamin natin yung mga basic uh, what to call terminology so that will will be accurate, uh, knowledgeable and at the same time kapag ginamit natin to or narinig natin to, uh, talagang masasabi natin na tama ang pagkaka-interpret natin. So number 1. So uh, let's talk about coronavirus. So, when you hear the word coronavirus, that it does it simply mean that it's the same as COVID-19? So, hindi necessarily pareho po sila, pero related sila. Yan. So, let us differentiate between the two. So, when we say coronavirus and at the same time COVID-19, so what's the similarity or yung relatedness nila? And at the same time, ano naman yung pagkakaiba nila? So, when we talk about coronavirus itself, this is a family of viruses that cause illness ranging from the common cold to more severe diseases. Now, 
uh, severe diseases such as MERS and what we call SARS. So, familiar naman po tayo dyan, di ba? Nung mga nakaraang taon, nagkaroon ng MERS at ng SARS. So, ang um, severe illnesses that we are talking about is the Middle East Respiratory Symptoms or what we call MERS-CoV. And at the same time, uh, the other one is SARS, which we call Severe Acute Respiratory Symptoms. Now, the novel coronavirus, which was recently discovered, has been named SARS-CoV-2. And this is what we call what causes COVID-19. So, yun po yung meaning ng coronavirus and where and how it's related to COVID-19. So, COVID-19. So, what is COVID-19? COVID-19 uh, is the name of the disease caused by the novel coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2 or COV-2. Uh, in short, mas kilala ito na Coronavirus Disease 2019 at nagsimula nga po ito sa Wuhan, China. Well, it was initially reported that it started in December but the world only knew about it in January. However, news are coming out po. I still have to verify this bit. Okay, great. So, we're good with coronavirus and uh, COVID-19. Now, let's uh, go and discuss the next uh, words. Uh, these are very important uh, terminologies that is related to what's happening around the globe right now and at the same time in our uh, country. So, do you know the difference between outbreak, epidemic, and pandemic? So, anong pinakaiba? Uh, na at similarity ng outbreak, epidemic, at pandemics, or what we call pandemic, right? And there's another word called endemic then. So, the commonly used words or the three na usually magkakasama is outbreak, epidemics, pandemics, but sometimes some people also refer to what we call another one, pang-apat po, is endemic. So, let us just take a look ano ba at paano ba magkakarelate itong uh, apat na vocabularies or new words. Some of you might know about it already and that's quite great. So, let's just refresh uh, your minds regarding what you know about uh, this terminology. So, let us uh, talk about first. Let's start with what we call the endemic. So, let's start from the basics. So, when we talk about endemic, this is something that is uh, particular or belongs to a certain uh, group of people or a place like ice is to Antarctica. It is endemic to Antarctica. And it could also be a disease that is common to that region only. Like for example, malaria. So it's common usually uh, when we talk about malaria, it's usually common to a certain place, for example, in Africa, right? So uh, that is why also, for example, uh, natatandaan ko, I have relatives or friends who are going to Africa or sometimes in Vietnam as well. They will say, oh, you need this vaccine. Okay, uh, kailangan magpa-vaccine ka bago ka actually lumipad, whether it's a business trip or whether you will be actually working in those places. Why? It is because there is what we call something endemic in that place that they know diseases will be, uh, uh, that those type of diseases is uh, quite common. Uh, like for example, mosquito, mosquito that is common in that place only uh, that can produce that type of disease, right? I'll share to you something more about uh, that. So that is what we call endemic. The geographical spread is within that population only. Now, uh, now that we have defined what is endemic, let's take a look at the other one. So endemic is something that belongs to that region or to that certain place at commonly occurring siya. Now, because it's commonly occurring, so they know in that area kung ano yung normal number of, in numbers, kung baga may statistics naman sila. Now, if for example, in that area, based from their history or statistics, they know that at this time or month, ganitong number of diseases usually uh, can affect number of people. At kung sakasakaling biglang tumaas 
okay? Tumaas yung number ng tao na nagkakaroon or affected by the, the, this uh, disease. Okay? Nabubulol pa ako. Uh, affected by this disease. So... Okay, great. So, just like we were saying, how can an endemic uh, turn to outbreaks? So, uh, just like what I've said, the common statistics na, uh, for example, in that certain country, in that certain region or place, uh, if that disease is already endemic in that place, so they already have statistics of how many people usually get affected in certain months and certain years. When there's sudden spike or pagtaas ng numero or number of people who get affected by the disease, we will have what we call an outbreak. So, what is an outbreak? So, when we talk about outbreak, a uh, disease outbreak is the occurrence of disease cases in excess of the normal expectancy. So, just like what I've said, kung ito yung ina-expect nila, masyadong mataas at patuloy na tumataas yung number. So, uh, that is again what we call an outbreak. The number of cases varies according to the disease-causing agent the size and the type of the previous and existing exposure to the agent so again depend po sa number before and then ano na yung number now so an endemic can become an outbreak now what are the common causes of outbreak so when we talk about outbreak uh, as per CDC, an outbreak is the occurrence of more cases of a disease than would normally be expected in a specific place or group of people or over a given period of time, like food poisoning to enterovirus as well as seasonal flu. Now, disease outbreaks also are used caused by infection, transmitted through person-to-person -person contact or animal-to-person contact, or from environment or other media. Now, outbreaks may also occur following exposures to wedding chemicals or radioactive materials. Occasionally, there are also cause, uh, other causes of outbreak can be unknown and can still be under investigation. With that, everyone, I know we still have several more days inside our room or inside our home. So stay safe, stay at home, save lives at the same time with that everyone this is jamie iris saying god bless you all uh, stay safe and stay at home for the rest of the covid 19 jargons please watch video number two so once again until our next video please like and subscribe my channel